What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode. I'm just out looking for a spot that we can make a fire together at and cook up some fish. So what I'm just gonna do now is look for some dry twigs uh, like this as some tinder and uh, maybe some moss like this here if it's dry. Ah, that's not very dry, but I'll try and find some dry moss. We'll use that as tinder to start up our fire. Ooh, look at that. There's a, there's a berry right here. Not bad, these guys are edible. A little tart still, but good. So maybe we'll do just a quick little foraging session, find some other plants that we can eat together with our fish that I've got in my backpack already. A few weeks ago, I was out with some friends and we went fishing for these ginormous trout that we have here on the, in the Northwest and on the West Coast. They're called a steelhead. Now what a steelhead is, is essentially a rainbow trout that's born upstream in little rivers like this and then they swim downstream with the salmon and go into the ocean and grow giant by gobbling up shrimp and little fish and all sorts of stuff and grow to the size of a salmon. That's right, trout the size of a salmon. So that's what we're gonna fish for in this episode. So while I just gather a little bit of uh, some fire starter for us here is I'll roll in the footage of the steelhead fishing trip. We stayed at Big Dave's Lodge for a couple days right on the river. Absolutely beautiful, mind blowing. So enjoy that footage, and uh, once I gathered up enough fire starter, we'll see you guys back here. We'll get a fire started and cook up a steelhead. I've got like a really good recipe for us that I just can't wait to try. We're just trying to keep him away from the. He's got it. He's got it right here. He's got it right here. Fish on. There you go. Fish on, Barry. <laughs> That's Jordan from hey, Addicted buddy. Fishing. Sean, their cameraman. Mick, I don't know, know brother. Nice, nice to meet you, you man. Finally, finally, it's been too long. <laughs> no, it's all good, it's all good. Guys, this is Nick Popov. All right, guys, so this is where we're gonna stay in the next couple days. I guess this is the, the guest house or something. Dave, what's going on? Hey, man. What's up, Dave? Dave, nice to finally meet good you. Good to meet you, buddy. Come here, little. Come here, Mr. Come here. Come here. You good deal, boy. Where's your tail? Dude, where's your tail? What do you think, man? Dude, this is beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah, I could put that here. peaceful, isn't it? Yeah, this is That's super peaceful. Be. This is the kind of water that uh, big salmon and steelhead live in. Man. Uh, these boats here, they're called a drift boat. So all we're gonna do is just drift down the river. Uh, we've got oars to paddle around if we have to, and uh, an anchor, and it does look like a little electric uh, trolling motor. My goodness. Yeah. How far are we going? We're gonna go all the way. All right, we're off on the river, about to go get some monsters. River's looking really good. It's a little turquoisey, not super clear, which is generally preferable. But Dave was saying that they were doing really good in clear water the other day. So you never know, it's fishing, right? All right, so we might've spotted one fish in the river already. Steelhead fishing is a lot like hunting. You're looking for the fish. Once you've found them, it's very likely you can get them to bite. So we're fishing with a slip float and eggs. Barely close to that wall. Yeah, not quite far enough. Fish this down, it's gonna fish better. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Did you see that? Just a little tiny dip, tiny dip. Oh, GoPro just died. That's why I like bobber fishing so much, guys. This is, it gets intense. Come on, baby, so we're watching that bobber right there. If that thing goes down, we're not gonna set the hook right away. We're gonna reel into it until we feel tension or know that all the slack is out of the line and that's when you set the hook. You never want to just set the hook right away when you see the bobber go down because you could have a lot of slack and all you'll do is uh, set the hook into the slack and you won't actually hook the fish. Here's the fun part about drift boating. So we got to get through some rapids. Oh, 
No, I might have set too fast. Damn. Come on, baby. Come on, just waiting for that bobber to go down. Little, what are you doing? Look at that, he's using a little rod holder to keep his butt in here. All right, no fish yet. We're gonna keep moving down. There's still a lot of river to cover. We've only scratched the surface. Uh, but that's what steelhead fishing's like. It's all about hunting them. If they're not hanging out here, maybe they're down there. We're looking for a school of them. Cool. This is like serious no man's land over here. Like this is where Bigfoot lives. That's where Bigfoot lives. Logging roads, straight up and down, crazy. Yeah, well this is remote, man. This is real crazy. So they're just saying that up here, anything on this side of the river, no man's land, no roads. Are there like logging roads or anything? Or is it just, this is untouched wilderness. Part of the reason why I love being in the United States, especially on the West Coast here and then in the Northwest, is because we have so much land that's actually untouched. I mean like truly untouched the way it was made, you know, millions of years ago. So it's pretty darn cool. A little scary to think about what can be up there. A little stole my seat. Okay, so we got a fish on here. Nick's got one. The fish is right there. It could be a big one. If it makes a run, it could get down into those rapids. If it gets down there, then we're gonna have to chase it because once it's in the rapids, we'd lose it otherwise. You can see the bobber right there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Real quiet. Real quiet with your feet. Holy! Oh no! That's a big fish, guys. That's a really big fish. Nice! That's a hatchery. Uh, yeah, it's a nub. That's a hatchery. Oh, that's a stud. Yo. Geez, silvery scales, giant. Yeah. This rainbow trout here essentially <laughs> yeah. swam out to the ocean, lived like a salmon, and as you can see, it grew. This sucker grew to the size of a salmon. It's a monster. <laughs> Big old fish. Oh, that's amazing. So the deal on this river here is, and on most rivers in the Northwest, is that you're not allowed to keep wild steelhead. Uh, so to tell that this is a hatchery fish, they've got this little fin back here, and it's called an adipose fin, which means like the fat fin. At hatcheries, they often clip that fin off to indicate uh, that that is a hatchery fish, and those are legal to retain. That's awesome. Good job. There we go. All right. Well, there's more to come. Right there. Nick got him. So what she chomped on were just steelhead eggs. So they, yeah, they eat each other's eggs and stuff. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Not about the old blue bean. There he is, nice little hatchery buck. Beautiful fish. Look at the markings on him. Jeez. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give him a little drink and then we'll get him back here. All right, here he goes, guys. 
So the reason we let that one go right there, it would have been legal to keep because it was a hatchery fish, but we're really only looking to keep like a super bright, shiny fish because the meat quality is better. Oh, I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm really, really tired. We've been fishing all day. I've casting, casting, I've got blisters on my fingers, <laughs> but it's all worth it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yes. Fish on. There we go. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Fish on. That was a bobber down. <laughs> All right, job, little buddy. it's all right, buddy. We got this together. <laughs> just, just, just even, even steady. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> you wait till he gets hey. all the way up here, and you're just gonna lift let straight up it. and over to him. Let, let him eat it for a good long time too. I think yeah, he ate it a little bit. There you go. Keep bringing it on. And once you once you get up to this bobber, don't lift him out, and then just go up and over. Just up and over and yeah, lift him right onto Jordan, huh? There you go. Keep going. Going out again. Keep going. There you go. Oh, oh! Oh, son of a god! <laughs> it started pulling again, and I think it hit the oar, and that, it, and it didn't uh, pull enough, or I wasn't able to give it enough line or something. All right, guys, we lost that one. We lost them, but that's how it goes sometimes. So what I'm trying to do right now is just keep the line out of that fast current so that we can enjoy that slow drift over there. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Uh, it might have gotten sucked into the current a little bit. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a monster! <laughs> I'm not watching. Oh my god. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Go, 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 go. Oh! <laughs> that was an in and out. Do it That's a keeper, ain't it, boys? Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, nice not even a nub. Uh, what do you think, little? That's a big fish. <laughs> right in the honey hole, come on, baby. Come on, right there, let's just dip down. Dip on down. Oh! 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 Hey, it's, they're full of them down there. Reminds me what it used to be like having your hair wet. They're closer to the front. I'm telling you, the fish are going to eat the body right on the outside where that orange bobber is right now. Okay, so we're hanging out right next to that fast current just in a little bit of a back eddy a lot of action back there a lot of fish hanging out one's just got to commit come on Uh, that's him, that's him. That's him. That's a fish on, baby! <laughs> <laughs> this way? No, are you on too? I told you that was gonna happen that 
That's a strong fish. Oh yeah. Little, little, little. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, I'm already at the bobber. Do you want it up towards Jordan? I lift slowly. Oh, it's huge. Oh, it's a nice fish. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we got him. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, let's, oh, my God. oh, it's a wild. It's a wild. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, my God. That's all right. Oh, beautiful fish. <laughs> that was pure chaos. Oh, yeah, baby. Beautiful. <laughs> Woo. Oh, Woo. Good day, buddy. Got one. Got one. <laughs> beautiful <laughs> wild female steelhead so we're gonna keep her in the water want to make sure that she doesn't get injured at all keep her as stress-free as possible we'll get a little picture with him then let her go little no little, we're gonna take care go. of this one nobody go will. beautiful uh wild steelhead here so where we're at we could uh take her out of the water but we're just gonna leave her in the water i don't care we don't need a full photo with her she's beautiful look at that uh she got chewed by something, maybe a sea lion or who knows. Probably, or mm -hmm. another male or something. Little, get out of here. Sweet fish, dude, all right, I got a bunch. Huh. All right guys, so we're gonna release her, face her upstream, just let her breathe for a second. Just released that beautiful fish. Feels good. I'm gonna see if I can catch a keeper, but you know what? We still got a whole nother day of fishing going. I ain't worried about it. You guys know me. It's not about bringing the meat home. It's about being out here, appreciating what we got. All right, Little, what do you think? <laughs> that's that's Little approved right there. Little likes fish too. He's, he gets pretty excited when we hook up on him. That was a fish. That, oh, no, it was a twig. Twig. Got him. Oh, yes, the boat launch fish. The launch is right down there. Almost done. That bobber drained. Oh. Oh, come on. Feels a little smaller. Watch out, little. Oh, in the net, baby. In the net. <laughs> that is... Hatchery? Yeah. Nice! Nice! <laughs> oh, Little's going savage! Put him out of the misery right away. Little, do you want to help with that? <laughs> Good job, man. Right yeah! What did I tell you, boy? What did I tell nice you? We got him, man. We got him. Right in the spot. No trophy, but that's okay. That is a trophy because it was at the boat ramp. Man, we did it, Little. What do you think? There we go. Little kisses for the fish. Look at how silvery this steelhead is. So it's gonna have some really nice red meat. Absolutely beautiful. That way I can say I caught a steelhead. A couple of steelhead this year. You can't tell me I didn't do it <laughs> for you guys. So we're gonna do, just because this is a lot of meat on that fish, we wanna make sure that we have the best quality possible. So we're just gonna bleed the fish out while the heart is still pumping. So for that, you just cut right through the, uh, the gills like that. And then we're just gonna dunk that fish in the water and look at all that blood coming out of there. 
A lot of people say that t fish taste horrible if you don't bleed them. It's definitely not the case. Fish still taste great if you don't bleed them, but the meat doesn't decay as fast and uh, stays fresh longer for long-term storage and stuff. Wow. Oh my God, I just dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> right, we got the boat loaded up, all our gear in. Little's chilling. As you can see, the last one I got was a, a little one. <laughs> compared, I mean, it's still a giant fish, but compared to these monsters here that the others caught. Uh, but hey, you know what? Can't complain. The little ones eat great. It's a very silvery bright fish. Both of these ones here are, so the meat's gonna be beautiful. Even this one here is just fantastic. They're all females, so uh, they should have eggs in them. Get rid of some of these fins here, just make it a little easier to clean. And I like to run right up the middle here, try not to touch the eggs if you can. Now she's gonna be nice and ripe if you look here. Oh yeah, look at that. This is a big, big female here. Jeez. I mean, these are the size of a typical salmon skein. Yeah. Just beautiful row though. Oh yeah. I mean, look at that look meat. At that meat. Unbelievable. Thank you, obviously, to Nick and Dave for hooking us up with the trip. If you guys want to book with either one and like stay at this lodge, I'll leave the links to everything below. As you can see, we're getting ready to film a cook off between Jordan and me with a big old fillet. Is that one that is, did you catch this one or that's a big old? One? That's I mean, that was mine. That, that one was yours. Yeah. Okay, so this is Jordan's fish that we're cooking up there. So we're gonna have a little competition. Make sure to check out. Uh, their channel, Addicted Fishing, I'll leave the link below to see the results of the cookout. We're gonna try and beat his recipe with our trout tacos. <laughs> Little's chilling. He's oh my excited. goodness. Even more excited. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Man, the woods are so thick here. There's a little bird's nest right there. We're gonna stay away from that. Don't wanna bother any birds. <sighs> Look at this right here. We found our first uh, edible plant. Now, some of you guys might recognize this here as a nettle. And if you've grown up with these things, you know that these things are mildly poisonous and can sting you. But did you know that you can eat them? So what we're just gonna do is rip it off there at the stem. They have along the edges of the leaf here, they've got little tiny spikes on there, like little glass thorns. And when you touch them like this, they break off and it just mildly stings a little bit. Um, some people react to it more than others. My advice is if you get stung by nettles, try not to itch it. If you itch it a bunch, it'll just get worse. If you kind of leave it and ignore the pain, it kind of gets worse, but then the pain goes away. So we're just gonna collect a few of these delicious nettles right here, and that'll be kind of a salad uh, for us while we're cooking. See that the bottom leaves right there? They've got a bunch of dirt on them and little holes and bugs have been eating them and stuff. What I like to do is just pinch the top off because these leaves here, as you can see, way cleaner. There we go. Oh yeah, look at this one. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful. So this here should be plenty of nettles for us to snack on with our steelhead. I brought just a little bit of firewood. It did rain here quite a bit the last few days, so there's not a whole lot of dry firewood. Only the really thin stuff is dry to burn. Oh yeah, this nice dry little slivers of wood, that'll help out too. If you don't have an ax with you, you can use your knife as kind of a little hatchet. So it's got some of this uh, nice green wood here. This is maple. And uh, these are perfect to use for little shish kebabs, <laughs> which is what we're gonna need for the steelhead here. There we go. Then what I just do is I take the uh, skin of the, the wood off, so it's nice and clean. So right here is our steelhead meat. This here is just a strip of its belly meat. The belly meat is like the fattiest, most delicious part of a salmon or steelhead. 
and thread it on. I hope this works. Yeah. Look at that. That's a steel, uh, steelhead shish kebab. Looks delicious. Look at that, a bunch of juicy nettle. And squeeze it right in between there. We'll do that with the best ones that we got. Nettles are actually um, quite healthy from what I understand. Loaded with vitamins. So what I'm just gonna do now is wet them down just a little, make them nice and soaked. Because uh, what I don't want is for them to just burn and dry out. I want them to kind of steam in their own juices and turn into more like a spinach. So I guess I haven't told you guys yet what happened the second day. We launched the boat first thing in the morning before light. We were the first boat on the river. And really the reason I didn't make a whole video out of it was because it rained the entire day. It was, we were soaked and chilled to the bones. We did two drifts down the river, didn't catch anything all day long. And then right in the end, we got super lucky and I got one more steelhead right where I lost one the day before. Oh, oh there he is! Fish on, baby! You got him! We got him! Yeah, buddy! In the water, in the water, good job. In the water, in the water. No, All right, where do you want me? I'm at the bobber. Watch your line, Nick. Watch your line. Just hold him there. Walk the dog. He does not know he's hooked right now. Oh, okay, we're just going to hold him still there in the water. Oh, he's shaking. He's shaking. Nice and low. Yep. Oh, it's freaking stud. Oh! Oh, a little help. What am I supposed to do? What do you want me to do? Is the net stuck? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Pandemonium! Pandemonium! I'm just gonna tail grab him. Ready? Right there. Straight up and then two of them. Then two of them, two of them, two of them. Oh! Oh, dude! We got him! <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> She's beautiful. Look at the colors on her. Brand new. Beautiful little green back the on there. And its tail and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got some streaks. Real fresh fish. And that steelhead is actually the one that we're eating right here. So that was a really special fish. That's what we got right here. I've got a little little bird's nest ready here. Now everything is just a little little damp. It's not going to be easy to make a fire today. So we can try a couple firings on this moss here and see if it lights up. What we'll do is throw a little bit of magnesium on there and see if we can get it to light up. Come on. Oh man, it is so damp. It's not holding that, uh, not holding the spark. We're gonna try one last trick and that's if you guys are wearing like denim jeans or something like that, you can actually use your knife and scratch off some lint. We're getting little fuzzy balls of uh, lint there. And that stuff is pretty flammable if your pants are pretty dry. See that right there? It's essentially like dryer lint. Oh, I cut a hole in them. Yeah, that moss wasn't cutting it. Okay. <sighs> yes! Yes! Ah, oh, so satisfying, man. All right, all right. But before we get too serious here with all the roasting, we're gonna season our steelhead. The only, I haven't thrown any seasoning on here at all yet. The only thing that we're going to throw on is some Danish sea salt. 
Get it all in there. I just wanted to taste just the fish. I didn't want to ruin it with any spices. The only thing that I wanted on there was some Danish sea salt. I give the nettles one last dip, and then we're just gonna give them a nice roast over the fire here as well. I've got really amazing news for us, by the way. I am in a couple days taking off for the very first mountain backpacking and fishing uh, trip. The mountains are, just gotta make sure I don't get like jumped by a bear from behind. I heard something splashing over there. And I know there's bears here and mountain lions, so. So of course, if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, of course you don't have to, you can just enjoy the videos. But if you don't wanna miss the future episodes coming up in the pristine mountains, feel free to subscribe, ring the notification bell, that way you guys don't miss those episodes. Oh man, I think, uh, I think these nettles are ready to go, look at that. Little smoky. They're probably not, I've never cooked them over the fire before. Little spinachy. And look at that steelhead though. That's looking really, really good. We've got smoke on one side. I'm gonna give it a fire char on the other side. I wanna really get some of those belly fats bubbling out of there and just have it sizzle in its own oil. Just checking here to see if it's cooked all the way. And I think it is. Mm. This is all done. Look at that. Look at that. Steaming. Still nice and steaming hot. Mm. Juicy. If you guys have never had steelhead before, it's a very, a very gentle flavor. It's kind of a lot like trout. It really does taste like a rainbow trout. If you guys have ever caught a rainbow trout that has really red meat, that's kind of what steelhead tastes like, except obviously a lot bigger. But it has a little bit of that salmon flavor in it as well. So eat some with the nettles. Mm. I'm really happy I didn't throw any other spices on there. Just the fish with the subtle, that hint of salt. Mm. Mm. Man, just look at this place. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> well, that's all I got for you guys. So uh, remember to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and we'll see all of you guys very soon for the next one. Till then, you all know it. Fish on, baby.